So over the last few weeks now, I've been learning React, and it's uh, it's been a bit of a learning curve. Uh, it's been fun though. Uh, I'll be honest. It's been it's been enjoyable, but I'm at the point now where I understand the basic stuff with it, and I would like to get uh, I would like to get a little bit of experience with it by building something. So. Um, that's basically what I'm gonna do today. I am uh, I'm gonna base uh, install React and uh, get a basic React app up and running. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to uh, set up our uh, Node working environment. So here we're gonna open this in terminal, um, and. For this to work, you do need to have Node.js installed. So, uh, if you want to install, if you don't have Node.js installed, uh, just go to nodejs.org and you can download the latest versions. Um, it, it's it, it's available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. So, um, just download it and follow the installation as a normal installation. Um, so. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to run npm init and we're just going to follow through the steps to initialize our um, to initialize our app um, and then that gives us our package.json file um, and then we will we are going to uh, run this command right here where it's called uh, the package is called create react app um, and we're going to uh, run that here in the terminal in that is uh, cd'd into the current directory that we want to install it into um, now the my app here is the name, the second argument is the name of the file or the folder that it's going to install into. So you can name that anything like we'll do React Basics. How about that? Um, and then we're going to run that. Um, it says uh, need to install the following packages. And we're just going to uh, hit enter. And we're just gonna wait for it to uh, download and install. All right, so I've gone ahead and uh, skipped ahead to the after the installation's done. Um, next thing we got to do is we got to cd into that uh, file now of um, that folder that we created uh, that we put that react file into so we're going to cd into that and then we're going to run uh, npm start this will start the uh, the react server which uh, will give us our react app now we can go ahead and um, jump right into the app.js file and also the index.js file this is the entry point right here the index.js file um, so basically the way that uh, react works is we have these components that uh, for each of our pieces to our web page and then those can be uh, put together to make larger components right here what we have in the index.js file is our main uh, component so um, we can actually remove this here Oops. and we can just render app Oops. and then we shouldn't see any changes made here um so if we go and find this app which is right here this is our uh main um our main file that's going to be loaded and then we will add more uh components inside of here and basically uh build on top of other components so <clears throat> 
I'm going to clean this up a, a bit and uh, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, so I've gone ahead and cleaned up this app a little bit. I've removed a lot of the excess stuff that we really don't need. Um, this is the index.js file. This is right here where the root element is created. So uh, we're going to we're importing React and React DOM. Um, we're also importing the the uh, CSS file um, for this uh, root this entry point here, and we're also reported uh, importing app from the app.js file. And inside of this app.js file, we just have a function called app that returns what looks like HTML here. Um, so this HTML is basically JSX code, and um, we can. This will ultimately, in the end, be compiled into JavaScript and then rendered onto the page. Um, React is built uh, to convert J this JSX code into JavaScript code, uh, and it is used to uh, build small components that can be pieced together and form a larger application so basically uh, we are piecing little pieces together um, and we're going to put them all together inside of this app um, and then uh, we're gonna call this function in or we're gonna call this component here I should say um, inside of the root dot render um, and it's going to render this component to the screen so if we open up this uh, in Chrome you're uh, basically I've removed everything and we're just starting from a blank slate with a background color of whatever this color is so that's basically our starting point now I'm not really going to build anything substantial. Um, this is more or less just practice more than anything. Um, but I'd like to build something, something. So, uh, first thing we're going to do here is inside of our sources directory, I'm going to create a new folder called components. And this is where all of our React components are going to live. So, inside of this components folder, we're going to create a file. And um, this file is going to, uh, it is just going to be called, um, form.js. I'm basically going to create a, uh, basic, uh, basic form, um, because I'm, I don't have anything else that I can think of at the moment. So, inside of this form.js file, we are, we are going to, um, first thing we're going to do is create a uh, function function um, and we're going to name it form and I'm going to open this function up and then we're also going to export it as the default um, form And then we're also going to import uh, that a CSS file I'm going to create here. Um, it's going to be form.css. And actually, I'm going to save this and I'm going to rename this file here. Because convention, it starts with a capital letter. Um, so we're going to import that CSS file now so uh, import from the current directory form.css um, so now inside of this function we are going to create our JSX code um, so we are going to return and we need to have a surrounding div um, Oh. Okay. 
we need to have a surrounding div um, because JSX or React can only, each file can only have one root element. It can't have more than one root element. So we're going to surround it in a div um, and then everything that we write is going to be inside of this div. So <clears throat> we're basically, uh, Basically, we're going to have we're going to have a form element. Um, no, we're going to have a form element, and then inside of this form, we are going to have uh, our inputs and everything inside of here. So we can create an input, and if there's nothing inside of inputs, we can actually self-close those inputs um, this input will just make it a uh, type of text all right and we'll save and let's uh, let's see here so we didn't get anything show up on the screen just yet that's uh, simply because we need to now use this component and put it inside of this app, um, this uh, app component. So we create a custom component. Actually, before we do that, we need to import that component. Um, so we're going to import, um, let's see, we're going to import form from components slash uh, form and we do not need to we do not need to uh, have the dot js at the end here it will automatically um, it'll automatically know that it's a js file if the dot js is omitted um, so once we do that, once we do that, we're going to create our custom form component inside of here. So now whenever I save that, our form shows up on the page. Now we can't really do much with this form just yet. Um, so let's change that a little bit. Let's, uh, we'll have an input of text and let's just call this a sign up form. So I'll put up here, uh, an H1, oh, an H1. And inside of that, we will have, uh, sign up to my website. All right. If I save sign up to my website, it looks amazing. Um, so inside of this form element, again, we are going to have, um, we are going to have another element, um, and we'll basically make it like a regular, regular sign up form. So we'll have another input, input, uh, type equals, uh, password. If I can type it right type equals password and we can close that and then we're also going to have a button um, button that says sign up and that button will be of type uh, submit all right and now if we open up our form it looks like this now i'm gonna go ahead and style this a little bit kind of make it look a little bit better and uh i'll be right back all right so i've gone ahead and uh cleaned up the uh form here a little bit um i've added some some border uh, a border radius i should say to everything um added some background color to the form itself a uh, nice um green sign up button um and so 
this here is the CSS if you'd like to you know pause the video and check it out or copy down whatever you want to do um, there's that alright so I quickly realized that the login form uh, or sign up form rather it, it was going nowhere very quickly so I decided to switch it up a little bit um, Maybe we'll use the login form later on in the future of some uh, some sort, but right now it is uh, it's just gonna sit in the components folder uh, for now. But uh, I'm switching it up a little bit, so we are going to be replicating a uh, like a form like a form feed, like a like a feed that you would see on like a social media site of some sort. Um, I feel like that would be a lot, a lot better, and it, it would it would uh, utilize React a little bit more um, than something like the basic login form because I was pretty much done um, with uh, with it already. So what we're gonna do here is I've got a basic basic uh, basic a little bit of code here that's got the feed container. Um, and then I've got the feed itself, which will put everything inside of this div here. Um, and what I'd like to do is create more components to put inside of here. So um, we are going to create another file called, uh, it's going to be feed uh, item.js. And this feed item we're going to import import feed feed item from and we'll do feed item here um so basically we're going to put this inside of here as a feed item feed item right here like that all right and then we will uh we'll work on this feed item rather than um that login form so we'll create a new file called feed item dot css um so we can style this uh feed item um and first thing we want to do is of course import our um, CSS so we're going to whoops, feed item dot CSS and we're going to create a function if I can spell it right uh, called feed item all right, and then we're also going to export it as the default uh, feed item. All right, and then we are going to return the JSX code. Um, we'll put a div here. Again, we have to have one root component. Uh, that's a core feature of uh, React. <clears throat> and then I will have a couple other components in here. So we want to have, um, so we want to have the text itself, the user, and let's say the date that it was submitted. Um, so we'll put a uh, div here. And the way the classes work in uh, React, you may have seen it already from here. Um, classes work uh, a little bit different be or well they're they work exactly the same and just have a different name um, so classes instead of using the word class which is a reserved word in HTML um, you have class name um, and it works exactly the same way as it would in uh, regular HTML where you have the class name equal to whatever the class name is um, and then if I open up one that has CSS already in it, um, just like this right here, form outer. Um, and I don't have the form open. But uh, you've got 
form outer here. Um, and then, of course, in the uh, CSS, where'd it go? I didn't close it out. Um, and then you have the form item with dot form, um, and you've got form here. So that's kind of how uh, it's kind of how um, CSS works. Like I said, it works or it works. Classes work. It works exactly the same way. It's just like got a different name. So we're gonna do class name is equal to uh, this will be the this will be the text. Um, so it's going to be a class of uh, let's do post text. All right, and then we will have a, another div here uh, with a class name of um, post author and we'll have a third div here um, we'll have a class name of uh, post date all right, um, so we'll have the text, the author, and the date. And I will create um, an object that we can put the uh, already set like values inside. So <clears throat> I'll go ahead and style this up real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm not going to lie. It doesn't look the greatest, but uh, it's, uh, it's there. This is the feed item that I created and I also went back to the feed.css and added uh, display flex here um, just so that everything centers um, properly so um, I am actually going to create a um, we I'm actually going to create a uh, object that we're actually going to bring in from we're going to replicate like it's coming from a database kind of um, so we'll create a object, uh, call it data, is equal to an object. I know data, how original, huh? But it'll have an ID. No, we won't worry about an, or yeah, we'll have an ID of some random string of numbers. There we go. And then every piece of data will have a, um, Actually, I'm going to wrap this in brackets to make it an array of objects, rather. So we'll have this. Let's just save. There we go. Um, so we'll have this. We'll have an array of objects, and we can pass that information into the feed. So um, <clears throat> we're going to have an ID for each one. We're going to have a text which is going to be the post text and I love chickens and we're going to have an author um, and I need to add a comma there so I don't get the squiggly red line author is going to be me and then um, the date um, is going to be we'll just make it a string um, and the date is going to be 2022 we'll say the month is 05 and we'll say the day is the 19th um, and then we'll replicate this a couple of times Save that. We'll make a new string of characters. Um, and we'll say this is from Bob. And this was on seventh, um, seventh month on the fourth day of 2022. And it's set, and his tweet set, or his, his feed item is going to say, um, this is the best place in the world 
to type this message and Bob is all kinds of happy and then we'll have another one here with ID of this um, yes I'm just typing in random numbers um, and the text will be here we are free Here we are free. Type ever you want. I don't know something something like that. Um, and this is from Jill, and Jill made this post all the way back in 2020 on the 10th month and the 27th. I don't know day. Um, and then this one is going to have another random string of characters and this is going to say I don't want to be here and then we'll do a frowny face this then this was from Player one, I don't know, very creative. Um, and this one was on the 12th month of 2022 on the 30th day. And um, we haven't even got there yet. Um, okay, so we'll save that. Now to pass in this data to the form feed, um, what we are going to have to do is for one where we want to create a new feed or not a new feed I'm sorry we don't want to create a new feed item um, but inside of the feed item we want to cre or create a new feed item so that didn't make too much sense but inside we're gonna have this here and we're just, everything's gonna be passed into here and then when we get into we get the data into here um, we are going to create four separate feed items for each one of those posts. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to pass in the data as a prop. Now a prop in um, a prop in React is basically just something that's passed into a custom element or a component I should say this here is a custom component that we've created um, so once we are up here select prop or a, we specify that we want to accept props um, and it doesn't have to be named props it can be named anything else um, but uh, we are going to pass that into the feed and um, let's actually just uh, console.log props props there we go and props is just basically just properties um, so let's inspect here bring this down and we've got an object um, called data and it looks like these are our four items here so it did it looks like it did work and to be even more clear uh, we will console dot log this is from inside of the uh, feed component all right and then we're going to oh, I'll go ahead and refresh everything seems to be working fine and we've got our data we've got our data right here so it looks like our data is safe and secure inside of the feed component 
So now that we've got our props being passed in, we now need to pass them individually into each one of these feed items now. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we are going to create uh, inside of these feed items, we are going to pass in each single one of them. I just said that. Um, so we're going to pass in um, text is equal to pro uh, and, and we need to have the curly braces. This tells uh, react that this is um, this is not a string. This this is uh, this is JavaScript syntax. So we're going to do props dot data and we're going to do index of zero. Um, dot text. Now, if we take that right there, and we actually console dot log that here at the top, um, we should get I love chickens right there. So we're going to pass that text in as text, um, and then we are going to pass in author. Is equal to uh, props dot data index of zero dot author. All right, and then we will do um, date is props dot data index zero dot date. All right, and then <clears throat> that should be accessible inside of each one of our components now so we're just going to I'm actually going to delete these three here and I'm just going to basically copy this down three more times and we're just going to change the index here to index one oops that's not what I want no I said there and index two and we will copy it down one more time for a total of four different items of at index three. Now, we should be able to access these inside of feed item now. So if we go into feed item, first things first, we need to ac uh, access props. All right. And then let's just, again, console dot log props and let's see what we uh, let's see what we come up with inside of props alright so now you see that data has been split again um, and we'll actually go ahead and remove not that we'll go ahead and remove these two console logs I'll just comment them out for now um, and we will do a console dot log this is inside of the feed item um, component all right and then if we refresh here uh, we should see this is inside of the feed item component now we have access to each one of those properties so now we can go uh, back into here and we can actually access, access each one of those properties uh, individually. So if we put uh, curly braces here, um, that will again tell React that this is, um, this is um, JavaScript and not JSX code. Um, so if we access props dot... Uh, text we should see that text show up on the screen and it and for each component um, it will render a new a new one of these and it'll render the text for that component so if we now go back here and we add in whoops we'll do props dot um, author I had to think for a second what it was 
we should now see the author as well. And then uh, if we go back into here, um, we can do props dot um, date and that should show the date that it was posted. So this is just this has just been a uh, little practice uh, for React. I will be uploading these more um, in the future. As I learn, like I said, I'm still learning React, so I'm not like very proficient at it just yet. But as I learn new things, I like to put that learning into action and um, kind of just just kind of build something just like this. It's completely stupid. Never going to see the light of day other than this. Um, but it's practice that makes a better a better programmer and practice that makes a better developer so i just wanted to uh put it out there and um try to build something new i will hopefully be trying to build on top of this later on um but for now i'm gonna call that quits um so if you did like the video slap a like on it subscribe and I'm going to upload a uh, Twitter clone project here within a couple of days, hopefully. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.